Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the boot failed UFI's Corsi device error when installing Windows Server 2016 on Hyper-V. So I'll be bringing up my Hyper-V manager now. So let me try and set up a new virtual machine. So let me just call this VM. So usually, this um, error pops up when you select generation 2. It does not uh, usually pops up on, or it doesn't even pops up on generation 1. So, and why you, why people select generation 2 is because they might want to um, uh, test a newer visualization features, a UFI based firmware, TPM, and the likes. So, but once you encounter this error, um don't don't uh, worry i'm going to show you how to bypass it so now let's move on let's finish the setup let me just change this to 50. so i'm going to select the image now So let's finish it up. So we are done finishing it up now. So let's just um, start it, start the VM, so as, so that we can install the image. So you see this uh, message: press any key to boot from CD or DVD. So if you try to uh, press any key now you will notice that there won't be any response there won't be response but you will soon get the error message now you will soon get it can you see the error message that's popped up so um the reason for this is because you did not press the key on time it, you should not wait when the message pops up before you press um, any key on your keyboard so this is what we are going to do we are going to start all over again turn it off so I'm going to start now. Again, immediately I start, I'll start pressing the key. Can you see? So I've been able to bypass that error now. And with this now, I can launch my image. I can install it. So we are good to go now. The installation has kick-started. We've been able to bypass that error so this is a very simple way of fixing the boot field error i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching